Human bodies consist of 206 bones, but when I'm with you, I have 207. Yeah, that's a stale joke. But what if it's true? Well, I mean, it's definitely not true. But what if I told you, there was that 207th bones, but we lost it long time ago, even before we are humans. It's called baculum. So, let me just brought up the question. What exactly is baculum? Baculum came from the Greek word baculon, which means stick. In anatomy, baculum is called os penis, or os genital, or os priapi. Well, now you could already guess what it is. It is the penis bone, and the function is, as you might have already guessed, to maintain stiffness during copulation. Many animals have them, including primates, but not in the human lineage. At least, we know these animal groups have them, which are Ordorodentia, Ordoulipotifla, Ordocarnivora, Ordochiroptera, and Ordoprimates. Do notice that not all members have it, though. We are the prime example for that. Oh, and yes, deer also don't have baculum if you are wondering. There are various forms of baculum. For example, coyote and bear have a relatively straight baculum, while raccoons have a curved one. Squirrels have baculum that looks like kitchen tongs, while rice rats have a baculum that looks like a trident with a broad pommel. But, even within an animal group, the form can vary. For example, this is the different types of a badger baculum in the genus Meles. Form and size can also vary with age, at least in badgers. In general, baculum length is proportional to the animal body size. Like, if I show you this, you wouldn't think that this is a rat's baculum, right? I mean, of course, it's way bigger than the body size of a rat. And when I show you this, you most likely wouldn't think that this is a baculum of, let's say, a walrus. Because it's way too small, don't you think? That's what I meant by in general. But actually, when you compare it within each animal groups, it only correlates weakly with body mass. There are some theories to the beneficial function of baculum. The first, it's to protect the urethra during copulation, to avoid irritation. In pinnipeds and primates, species with longer copulation time have longer baculum, which led to this theory. However, research on 52 species of carnivores shows that the theory is not supported. The second is in context of sperm competition, like to remove the sperm from prior males or inducing damage to inhibit remating of the female. Baculum length does indeed increase with sperm competition in rodents and carnivores, but not in bats or primates. Another theory is to stimulate the female to induce ovulation, but no correlation was found in carnivores. The fourth theory is to signal male quality, like the bigger the baculum, the better the male. While it is observed in muskrats and seals, it does not in martens, mice, and bats. But then, what does all of these mean? Well, it means that there is no general answer to the benefit of baculum. But why though? Research in 2016 had found that, apparently, during mammalian evolution, baculum evolved independently, and multiple times. It was also lost multiple times. And so, different groups of animals have different conditions for baculum. That's why the beneficial function is also varied between groups. And so, let's talk about this. Why is it lost in human? Well, there are several theories. Let me tell you one by one. First, is the honest advertising theory. The logic is basically like this. If you have baculum, it'll be easier for you to stay erect. If you don't have it, only healthy male would be able to stay erect. And so, only healthy male would be selected to reproduce, and female would only select them. For this hypothesis to be true, such preference must be significant. The second is the tactile simulation hypothesis. It basically says 
boneless penis would be more flexible, which enable more position and movement, if you know what I mean, which potentially provides more stimulation to the female. What? I'm dead serious. It's not my theory. I didn't make it up. If you are weirded by this one, prepare for the next one. The third is the elongation loss hypothesis. It basically says evolution of bipedalism and sperm competition resulted in an evolutionary pressure for longer penis. And so, if men have baculum, it would be a large baculum, and that would make it uncomfortable, and perhaps even dangerous. The fourth is the mating system shift hypothesis. The mating system shifts refers to the shift to becoming monogamous. And so, for a successful reproduction, you don't need as much intensity in copulation. And so, you don't need a baculum, so you lost it. Lastly, the fifth, which is my personal favorite theory, is the conspecific aggression and self-awareness theory. So you know the weakness of men, right? Well, that might be vague, but let me just show you this picture. That's what I mean. And that's what is considered for this hypothesis. So, I'm sure many people know that this is effective in incapacitating a man. Now, imagine, what if you have a bone there? Not only will it be painful, you'll risk it breaking. And imagine you always rely on the bone to be erect. What if it breaks? See what I mean? Basically, men will just target each other's crotch to remove them from competition. Baculum broken? It's basically GG for that person. That's why we lost them, so we don't get instant disqualification in reproduction if someone hit our crotch. Well, that's just a theory of course, nothing decisive yet. Alright, so, I would also like to talk a little bit about hemibacula while we are talking about baculum. While yes, other animals don't have baculum, at least as far as we know, but monitor lizards have a similar structure. Well, Monitor lizards don't have a penis. Instead, they have hemipenis, which is basically just a penis, but branched, like two penises. And so, while penis have bacula, hemipenis have hemibacula. That's the extent of my explanation for now. I'll explain it further when I'm talking about monitor lizards. For a future video, I mean. And so, there you go. That's about baculum. It's just a simple, singular, small bone, but it could have various beneficial functions, various mystery for zoologists to wonder. Even the fact that we don't have them is a topic of wonder. Who knows what we would discover in the future? For now, let's just learn what is known. And that's all for now.